Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. The field of radiology is an expansive industry with modalities and procedures that are continually evolving. The career track of physician assistants has also experienced expansive growth and maturation. In order to define how a physician assistant would operate within a radiology department, one must first understand the roles of RTs and radiologists. RTs, or Registered Radiologic Technologists, are educated and trained in patient care and performing diagnostic imaging procedures on a variety of different modalities. They tend to the patients from the moment they walk into a procedure room executing non-invasive x-ray protocols to acquire diagnostic images of the subject. They manage this data and submit it to the radiologist for interpretation. Consequently, a radiologist is a medical doctor who performs procedures that are invasive to the patient. Once the RT has prepared the patient for the examination and has them positioned on the diagnostic table or bed, the radiologist goes over the informed consent with the patient. They then prepare their procedure kits and execute the test that has been ordered by a referring physician. This usually, but not always, involves a drug administration, needle insertion, catheter placement, or contrast injection. Each of these applications have possible byproducts or side effects that a highly trained specialist must be aware of. X-rays are applied during or after these tasks. After the exam, the radiologist will read or interpret x-ray images that have been acquired. They generate a report that will be submitted to the patient's record so that further treatment can be considered. Essentially, the concept of a physician assistant within the radiology environment expands the flexibility of the radiologist. In theory, the radiologist can spend more time reading and interpreting images, while the radiology PA manages these hands-on procedures that are slightly out of the radiologic technologist's scope of responsibilities. These tasks involve, in some cases, starting IVs, inserting needles in the lower back, administering contrasts, acquiring images during radiology procedures, and interpreting x-rays under the guidance of a board-certified radiologist. In short, radiology physician assistants help to streamline the efficiency in radiology departments. They are liaisons between RTs and the radiologist. They help to lighten the workload in a cost-effective way. There are two types of radiology PAs, registered radiology assistants and radiology practitioner assistants. Both are very similar in scope of practice. Each are certified by different certification entities and both work under the supervision of a physician. Radiology PAs are specialists who usually have a background as a registered radiologic technologist. They know the modalities and x-ray industry extensively. They are invaluable assets in their workspaces. But not all hospitals and imaging centers employ these specialists, as the number of invasive procedures may not be performed at such locations. They are usually found within well-funded, large hospitals that have extensive specialties, including cardiac catheterization labs and special procedures. Radiology PAs have been schooled in a three-year graduate program. They have passed certification boards and they maintain their credentials on an annual basis. Their responsibilities vary from location to location, but they are continually being sought after as the industry explores further advancements. For more information on this subject, you can visit www.arrt.org. That concludes this episode of is there such a thing as radiology PAs? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the radiology coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.